All right, so it's about five days post comp, and um, I'm sure a lot of you saw my posts on Instagram and um, in my story, and I've been super overwhelmed with the support and uh, the messages and the texts and the calls, and so um, that's all. I don't even know what to say because it's just been like crazy overwhelming. Um, I just finished uh, teaching a class and uh, I wanted to start off my uh, reflection with that um, I'm just, I'm super lucky. Um, the people that I work with on a weekly basis, um, the, the classes that I teach, um, the students that I have, I mean, it's, it's all about that at the end of the day and um, I just had just this amazing spin ride right now um, and the energy and just the motivation and the drive and these people have no clue or even mind frame about like competitions and competing and and for them it's just getting through these classes and that's really what it's you know, initially all about and finding the will to get up every day and do something for yourself that nobody can take away from. And nobody could take away the prep that I just went through. So that's my first initial thought kind of going into this reflection is nobody can take that away from me. And it's all about the will to want to do something and make a change for you. And that's internally, externally, um, and you know, there's so many shitty things that happen in this world. And if you can wake up every day and feel that you've accomplished something. Okay, so it's almost been one full week since my show, and it's beautiful out here, California. Um, and I am just going on a little morning fasted cardio walk. Um, I haven't gotten 100% back into like the same routine, if that makes sense. Um, I still need to talk to my coach tomorrow and do a full follow up on the show how I did and everything that kind of went down. Um, so I'm excited to talk to her and then just kind of see what my plan is going from there. So I'm just gonna do about a 30 minute walk um, and stretch. I have been training this week. I, um, I did a lot of legs this week. I got back to teaching my classes and spinning and um, I'm just kind of easing back into everything. Um, after a show, your body's really sensitive. Um, your weight goes up significantly, especially because you enjoy some food. Um, and then it kind of tapers back down. So now it's been six days post-show and um, my weight is up only five pounds. And I feel like really great about that because it's not real weight. Um, and again, I lost probably two or three pounds of water the last week or so um, when I was taking water pills and diuretics so I'm like super excited that I'm only five pounds up and I feel great and I feel like lean and tight and easing back into my workouts and um, I have some big goals for summer and uh, I'm just excited I'm working with my clients and my spring shred online clients and team and I have I have a couple girls competing here in the next six weeks. So I'm just getting them ready and some shoots coming up. So I'm just really excited. Um, and I'm just appreciating this Friday and I'm reflecting a little bit more and, and um, everything that went down and <sighs> yeah. Second week post show. I'm still doing some reflecting haven't talked to my coach yet, but I did get um, my reverse plan. So, doing some incline walking for like 35 minutes. Uh, not every morning, but a few times a week. 
and uh, back to teaching my classes. And then this week I got my new reverse diet meal plan. Um, I'm still debating doing another show. Um, not sure which organization. Um, I definitely, again, just need to talk to Stephanie and I want to see her thoughts on where I was at and I'm still waiting for my stage photos. So, again, um, I just definitely am leaning more towards that that organization isn't the right organization for me. Um, and if I want to compete for myself and for fun, the IFBB NPC is the way to go, especially with my sponsors. And um, with all I do in the industry is my main focus. Um, for now, I'm just getting ready for Club Fit International. And again, I got a couple girls competing and uh, a pretty big photo shoot coming up. So I'm just trying to play around with dates to see when my next show date will be because I'm definitely in that mind frame and I feel really good. So we'll see. So two weeks post show and I'm up about four and a half pounds and I'm about to do my check-in and my stats. And I'm super happy about it because put some, you know, waters back in my diet. My calories are back up. And um, I'm super excited about the progress I'm going to make kind of going forward in the next couple weeks. And look my best for summer. Two weeks later, feeling pretty good, following the new plan plus some extra workouts and uh, a few little like extra nuts and stuff here and there, but not nothing crazy. Um, I'm really looking forward to catching up with you to discuss the show, so please, um, it's been two weeks I've been waiting. Um, I wanted to kind of discuss what your thoughts were, any feedback you got, and um, go from there. Hey, we're here at Venice Schools, and I just trained with Psycho. What's your name? Psycho what? Psycho. You call me Psycho, baby. That's it. That's all you get. Psycho 21. You call me 21, you call me Psycho. Awesome. So we hit legs today, and um, one of the things that my coaches gave me feedback on is that I just really need to get a little bit harder and so I have some goals for the next six weeks so we're doing like two week mini programs and I'm gonna be working with someone once a week here in Venice Schools. Yep. and uh, tell them what we did today well okay we did some old-school uh, time under tension and we did muscle my connection so basically we're holding the muscle for over 40 seconds so what I believe that a working set begins after 30 seconds. So that's when we started our reps. So every set that we did lasted over a minute and a half. So that's basically what we're doing. So what we're doing, we're creating more density without size. We're not trying to get bigger, we're trying to get the muscle more dense, more shown, and in between we were stretching it out to elongate the muscles, to get more of an athletic look. So, and then what do you think um, about my like, legs? Like what are, what are the biggest things that you think I need to work on? Okay, well we got, we have long muscles, but for more than the years, You've been training like they're, like they're short muscles, so they're bunched up in one place. So we have to stretch them out, get your body used to you, using the whole hamstring, not just part of the hamstring, using all the quadriceps to elongate the muscles and bring in a deeper cut. So great physique, everything is there. We just got to change the training, stretch the muscles out, get them a little bit more dense, and round them off. She's so long, we got to round those muscles off and create more curvature in the body. And what, like, how long do you think before I'll see, like, a major, major change? Well, I believe that the human body changes every seven hours. 
if we find out a good combination of what we're doing, seven hours, seven hours, seven hours, seven hours, that's why I call myself 21. I work, everything is based on 21. So 21 days, we see a huge difference. Then we double that, 42 days, we see another difference. So the thing is like that, once we find out what it worked, and you train like an animal, you train like a guy. She, she's in there, she doesn't whine, she doesn't moan, she's right in there. So if she gives herself to somebody, they know what they're doing, they should have her in 21 days. You should see a different way. Sweet. Okay, stay tuned. Two. 
Silvia. biggest things I see is that she needs to have that balance between hamstring, glutes, and quads. So right now she's quad dominant, but that could be worked on so that we can bring the other parts up. A little bit more roundness to the glutes, and that hamstring needs to be round also. Perfect balance after that. How in the assess in six weeks? Six weeks, we take another assessment, make sure we're going in the right direction. That's what we do. Every six weeks you take a look, make sure things are right, and we end. What do you think about my overall physique? Overall shape is good. We don't have to worry about that. We just worry about the lower half. Okay. The half we need to work on. That's what the judges complain about. That's what we'll fix. Okay. All right? Okay, so it's officially three weeks post-competition. Um, I've been on my reverse diet uh, about 80-20. Um, there's definitely been some splurges and stuff on the weekend. Um, my weight has jumped. My body fat... Uh, and body just definitely feels a little bit swollen and I'm having a really hard time right now because I've had very 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 severe PMS um, a lot earlier than normal um, I have been off the pill for one full year and uh, coming out of a competition um, I had started getting really severe cramping um, 10 days away from my period so uh, I had reached out to my coach and she had, you know, responded with like, that's totally normal after just being in a deficit for so long. Um, your hormones are just trying to regulate and your period is going to be really, really bad. The first one after competition. So, um, I also did receive my stage photos and... Going back through them, I saw the comparisons and I saw the other girls and again, everybody looked great and it just wasn't my show. So it was really great to see that um, and really just 
kind of see where I was at compared to everybody else. Um, I'm definitely feeling a little bit down about it, um, to be honest. So I'm not going to like beat myself up, but I'm feeling down because, um, I don't know, I thought I looked better, I think. So then when I saw the photos, I was like, you know, it just makes you want to work harder and strive for something more. Um, I've always been in this to better myself, so definitely happy with where I was. I just thought I would have, I don't know, looked better. But I have a plan, and that's what's important. Um, and it looks like I'm going to be taking a good six months off from competing in an off season to just make some changes and um, just get more definition in certain areas that I need to work on. And that's why I'm going to be working with somebody once a week training and then continuing with my online coaches. Um, I think the main thing is that I'm not going to give up. And while it's super hard for me sometimes to make the changes that I really want to see like fast, just like many of my clients and other people that I work with, um, I'm not going to give up. Um, I still have a lot of plans for the rest of this year and um, changes that I want to see um, in myself. And the important thing is that I just enjoy myself along the way and enjoy my ride and, and just learn from every single thing that I go through and every phase that I go through. So whether I'm up, down, happy, sad, um, I have confidence in my journey. Um, I'm happy with the, with the changes that I've made and I know that I'm always going in the right direction. Um, so that's kind of how I want to end this reflection. I could kind of go on and on and on and keep documenting my feelings, but um, I'm going to switch gears and you're going to have to kind of stay tuned with what's next and what's going to kind of go on with me for um, the next six months. So there will be a, a new docu-series coming for um, the, my next projects. Thank you guys so much for all your support and um, I'll see you when uh, my next competition is.